Welcome to the Dice Tower, a series of video reviews about board and card games. Here are your hosts, Tom Vassell and Sam Healy. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Zee Garcia. Hi. Sam Healy. What's up? Today we're taking a look at a new game from CMON called Gizmos. Gizmos. Now, if you first see Gizmos set up on the table, I think it'd be fair to say it looks a lot like another game from Seabon. I could. I don't know what you could possibly Maybe mean. a mini version of the game. Well, I mean, it has marbles that roll down. Yeah. Shoots and stuff. Yeah. And so. Do they explode upon touching <laughs> the same color again? No, no, they don't. I. What is the name of that game? Potion, Potion Explosion. Explosion. I even asked them before we started this. So and he even something. gave you one of the words. <laughs> I know, I tried. <laughs> ah, I'm not very good at this sort of thing. But here's the, here's the thing. If you, if you play Potion Explosion, like, dislike, this game is nothing like it. Nope. The marble dispenser here is really just kind of a randomizer way to show it, it, it could have been done by pulling tiles from a bag. Or yeah. cards, putting cards in a line, yes. Right. It's cool, it's cool, but the game itself, well that's what we're going to take a look at now. So the first thing we're going to look at here is the marble machine. So you can see there's marbles inside here of different colors and they're going to come out here where if you pull a marble out, just more marbles slide out. So you're going to uh, be getting marbles from this line as time goes by and then more come through. That's essentially what that's there for. And these are energies that you're going to be using to score points in this game. There are various cards here. When one player has 16 cards in front of them, or if they have three of the level three cards, then the game is going to be over. So how do you go about getting these cards? Well, on a player's turn, they're going to pick an action from here. They have four different actions they can pick. One of the actions is file. When you file, you can take any card up here and put it in your archive. That card is then replaced. How many cards can you keep in your archive? Well, it shows right here. You can keep one of those cards in your archive. Another thing you can do is you can build. You can build a card straight from here or from your archive. If you happen to have an energy marble here, for example, to build this one, I can pay one red energy. So I pay that red energy, and then I can build this. I stick it under the right column that it's supposed to be part of. Another thing you can do is you can pick. You just take one energy here and add it to the row in front of me. And finally, research, you can draw cards from each of these, from one of these piles, and the number you draw will be equal to your research number. You'll go through, you'll pick the card you want, and you can archive it or build it or do neither of those. Now, when you build these cards, it's going to change how things work. So here, some numbers. These numbers affect everyone. You can have five energy orbs in your storage. I can archive one card and when I use the research ability I can research three cards. See when I add this now, this upgrade, now I can have six balls in storage and I can have, f I can, when I research I can do four cards. This card is also worth a point at the end of the game. Other cards will directly affect something. So for you start with this card here, for example, and when I file, I also get to randomly draw one. That's where you will, when you randomly draw, you just reach in here without looking and grab a marble and add it to your storage. So you can see these different cards are different things. There's converters. If I put it here, once per turn, I can convert a yellow into any energy. I can take this card here. Um, it says whenever I build a red card, I get to draw a marble for a random marble. This is when I archive, I can pick a marble. I'm sorry, these aren't randoms. You can pick, when it shows that hand symbol there, you can pick them from here. Here it says whenever I build a yellow card, I'll get a victory point. And there's a pile of victory points here. And there's all sorts of things. And you'll be able to upgrade things. Here this adds to all your stats across the board. This says if I build a red or a blue card, I get two victory points. And all sorts of cool things that you'll be able to do as the game goes by. Each card can only be used once per turn, but if you have multiple cards under something, you, you can do multiple things. I might pick something that allows me to build something, and then building that allows me to do something else. So anyway, you take your turn, and you just keep going around and around the table until, like I said, one person has 16 cards or three of the level three cards. At that point, you're going to add up your points for all the cards that you have. 
plus any point tokens that you might have gotten throughout the game. And whoever has the most points is the winner. As I said at the beginning of the game, I don't think the marble thing is necessary. Yeah. It could have easily been replaced by anything else, but it's I mean, neat. It's, it looks good. I think any game, just about every game in this day and age, benefits from a, a fancy, attractive, eye-catching sort of thing. As long as it is not solely a gimmick for no good reason. I think in this one it's thematic, the thing, you know, that dispenses them. It works well. And it's neat. It's eye-catching. Yeah, you know? it's a little bit of randomness to the game. And it's slightly different than... We mentioned it could be replaced by deck cards, but it's easier to grab a random marble out than it would be to, to grab a card from the middle of a deck. Yes, okay. absolutely. Yeah, you can put your hand in there and shake them up if you want to, grab one, whatever. Yeah. But this is definitely, at its core, an engine-building game. Yeah, For resource sure. management, exactly engine-building game. Yeah. And I love that. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of engine building, and the one thing I like about this game is it kind of lets you pick. You can kind of, as the cards come by, focus and say, "I'm gonna try to," and I'm gonna try to do this. And when that happens, I do this, and then you can make these really cool combos. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely a game that has strategy. And I notice because I play people who are better at this stuff than me, and they whoop up on me. Yes. In fact, I've never won this game. <laughs> Yeah, I don't I, think I have either. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I usually take <laughs> So obviously a, the three of us haven't played a game together. <laughs> I, um, I usually take too long to sort of see the combination of like, oh, wait, if I do this, I get a, 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 you know, a blue marble, then I can still fuel it right into this. By the time I get to that step, someone's basically won. But it does benefit from the more plays you get, the better you get at the game. So, yeah. I mean, that's the, the more often you play it, the better you will be at it. Um, but off the bat, yeah, this is definitely one of those games where some people will just be able to see those, uh, you know, those uh, connections a lot easier than others. Yeah. yeah, but this falls in that category of games that I love but I'm not good at because it falls in that grouping where I'm having so much fun building this cool little engine and someone's saying, maybe you should try to win. I'm like, oh. Yeah, but if I draw this, I get to draw that and do that. And then what are you going to do with all those marbles? Oh. But look what that goal that was! Yeah. And yeah, that, yeah. that happens to me in this game so far every time I played it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, woo, look at this cool. Did you just win? Yeah. Yeah. No, I um I liked the game. I liked the little combos. I the only thing I found I wasn't as satisfied with is near the end of the game. There are so many little things to keep track of that I start to get bogged down in that. That was my only sort of drawback for me. I liked the theme. Uh, I liked what was going on. I liked the production, certainly. But near the end of the game, I'm staring at all the cards in front of me, and it ends at, what, 16, I think it is? So I'm, I could be staring down at, you know, 13 cards going, okay, so if I take this action, yellow. Pulling a thing also triggers me taking one from the tray. If I take one from the tray and that's blue, this thing also ha that. I get bogged down in that. Mm. It wasn't enjoying that feeling. Now, that feeling doesn't last very long because I'm about to be whooped on. You know, because like I said, it only happens when I already have a good amount of cards in front of me and I am not that good at the game, so someone's probably about to get to 16. Cool. But. Yeah, it compounded the combo thing to a point I was no longer just being like, woo, fun. I had to stop and sort of go, oh, man, I got to keep track of all these combinations, you know? Maybe that's just me. Um, that was my only sort of issue with it. I also was not a huge, huge fan of the graphic design on the little player boards. Really? I thought the little, the little symbology was a little flavorless. It's sort of... I don't know. I, it's, everything else is so colorful, so pretty, so like kooky and like mad scientist-y. And then those actions printed there just look boring. It's like a folder? A folder. It's just a black outline of a folder that's really like seems like it came from a different game. I it's, guess. I just thought it was easy to notice. Though. You're going to yeah, have, yeah. You gotta, if you're, you can't if you're a scientist science stuff, and you're building on it, you're going to have those things. you got to I mean, file, too. you got to do the office paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do the boring stuff, too. That's the lesson. I mean, it's, I don't know. I, I didn't really, the, my, my, my thing with, um, with the iconography wasn't that it was boring. I was fine with that. I just thought it was a little um, non-intuitive. Mm -hmm. uh, because filing actually means you get to what I would call archive. 
a thing for later. But filing seems like you would be putting it where it's supposed to be going, whereas, I don't know, I just thought it was a little like, unintuitive, I some agree, of the names I agree that they with gave. That. I agree with that. That part of it is a little like, eh... Well, I really like the game. I'm actually yeah. going to hang on. I do, too. I, I, I do enjoy the I, I guess I haven't said it uh, very much here, but I, I enjoy the game for what much like what Tom was saying, where I can build my own engine. The engine usually isn't that great, uh, but I can have fun putting my it's own spin. like a sense of accomplishment. Spin. Yeah. Um, and it's fun. To see what you're doing grow is just fun. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I also like the fact that you can, you know, sometimes these kinds of games, you can't get that level three card until you are at level two or mm -hmm. until you're at level three. No, you can purchase that level three card right now well, and then work towards it. Well, if you can afford it. it. <laughs> well, yeah, if you can afford it. Right. But, I mean, you can, you can do that. You can kind of plan ahead. I'm going to work towards this, and nobody else is going to be able to work towards that because I just took it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So I like that aspect of the game, too, and it works for level two as well. So. Um, I like that you can do that, and um, I thought that the the gimmick of the game, the uh, marble container that has a little thing, I thought that was a, a great addition to the game. Yes. Um, usually, I'm not a big fan of gimmicks like that, but this one works. This is uh, one I'm going to hang on to. I really do enjoy it. I don't have much negative to say about it, other than uh, Z was mentioned at the end where you get all bogged down. I found for me, I need to just pay attention. Because many times it'll be like, I do an action later. I'm like, oh, that's right. If I had done an action, I could have also done that. Then you feel stupid. Well, that happened to me a decent amount of times. That, I mean, that's I, me, I think, more than the game. That bothers me, that kind of thing. Did I do that? No, when there's so many little things that you keep making little mistakes. Uh, I just think I'm just dumb. <laughs> Argue that. It also depends upon how diversified your engine is. The more diversified your engine is, the, the harder it is. Uh, for you to keep track of all the different things that yeah. that, cha that channel off of each other, yeah. but if you have a more specific engine that does one thing really, 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 really well, it's not so hard to keep track of it. Okay, I'll give you that. So for me, great packaging, fun game, engine building doesn't overstay its welcome. Nope. Pretty cool. Two marble guns up. Marble, marble guns. guns? Yeah, sure. I got shot with a marble gun. It hurts. There aren't guns I, that would really hurt, I imagine. What about you? Right. What are you? Um, what are you giving it? I'm gonna give it uh, one and a half energy rings up. Oh. Um, I did enjoy it. I thought it was great. It's a great family weight game. It's a great um, introductory level game for an engine builder or a resource management type game. I think that uh, it would shine very well in both of those kinds of situations as a gateway and as a family game. So um, I really enjoyed it. I think it's, it's a, like I said, great packaging, great uh, artistic design on the inside. I like it. I think I'd maybe like it just a hair less than you, Sam. I'm still going to give it one and a half, uh, I don't know, files up. Uh, like exciting ones. Exciting files. But... I don't know how um, I don't know how often I'm going I'm going to be the one to suggest hey let's play gizmos I think if someone else said set this up and said let's let's give it a shot I'm, I think I'd always be you know uh, in I'd always be game for that but um, it's one that I don't necessarily feel compelled to bring to the table myself it's fun yes it's combo rific it bogs down a little Ooh. bit for me. That's one of my words. combo -rific? Yeah. I'm borrowing. I'll give it back shortly. Um, but yeah, overall, I think, like I said, I'm just, I mean, I'm enjoying it. I rate it like a seven or so, but um, just a hair maybe under how these guys are feeling about it. Okay. Well, there you go. That's Gizmos. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Sam Healy. See you on the flip side, folks.